Elisabeth Jacquet de la Guerre was the first woman in France to compose an opera, and she was the first French woman to publish a collection of harpsichord pieces. She was one of several progressive French composers, and the only woman who experimented with Italian genre, notably the sonata and cantata, in the early 1690s. Elizabeth came from a family of master masons and musicians, and was the daughter of the Parisian organ builder Claude Jacquet. Her father taught not only his sons, but also his daughters how to play music. Jacquet was a child prodigy, playing the harpsichord and singing at the court of Louis XIV from the age of five. So exceptional was her talent as a harpsichordist that Louis XIV relaxed the convention restricting women instrumentalists from performing at court or in public. When Elizabeth Jacquet was around 15, Louis XIV's mistress, Madame de Montespan, was so impressed by her that she took her under her wing and invited her to stay in her entourage. Elizabeth remained at the court of Versailles for three years, studying music and performing for visitors. In 1684, Elizabeth left the court to marry the organist, Marin de la Guerre. Their son, as precociously gifted as his mother, died at the age of 10. In fact, during the next few years, many of her near relations died, including her mother, father, husband and brother Nicola. Elizabeth composed a ballet which is now unfortunately lost, an opera which was performed at the Académie Royale de Musique and cantatas which were performed at the Théâtre de la Floire. She gave lessons and concerts for which she was renowned throughout Paris, sometimes hosting concerts in her own home. Elizabeth Jacquet's last work seems to have been a Te Deum sung in 1721 in the chapel of the Louvre in thanksgiving for the recovery of Louis XV from smallpox. Jacques de la Guerre remained in Paris throughout her life. She died in 1729, aged 64 years.